What's going on, everybody? Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. And on this installment of the DSC series, we have Stanley Chen, who is a, from the University of New England College of Dental Medicine, joining us. How you doing, Stanley? Doing great. How are you? Man, I'm doing well, man. Just bunkering down during, during the, uh, the COVID-19, <laughs> but, you know, all is well. Man. Absolutely. <laughs> Stand safe, stand safe. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, man. So if you could, man, just just reintroduce yourself first off, and uh, to the to the viewers out there, uh, tell a little bit about your journey into dental school, where you went to undergrad, um, what you majored in, and then um, also where you're from originally. Yeah. Yep. So I'm from uh, East Greenwich, Rhode Island, a little small town, Rhode Island. I went to University of New England for my undergrad. Uh, in high school, I joined the four plus four program. So uh, in high school, you can enter in. And you can get a conditional program where they have a three point for me it was three point five to maintain for the GPA, okay. and then a seventeen DAT overall. Um, the other part of the conditional program was uh, the interview process. So there's three parts. Uh, so I spent uh, my undergraduate year at UNE, majored in biological sciences. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually graduated in three years. Uh, set my name into the uh, D into the DAT and everything. Uh, but sadly, I actually did not get into dental school the first time around. Okay. Uh, mainly, I, I did uh, surpass the 3.5 and the 17, but uh, the main issue was actually the interview process. Mm, okay. So I guess my journey into figuring out how to mature and almost understand myself and get ready for the next time was a big part. So I decided to uh, graduate after the three years at UNE. Uh, then I got my MBA, a one-year MBA at Bryan University. Nice. and there. I was able to understand more business concepts and uh, hopefully that could transition me into getting into dental school in the future. So the second time around, I did get into dental school. Uh, I did not get waitlisted, <laughs> thankfully. And I do, I do believe that uh, two, core, two core factors was uh, working as a dental assistant and then my MBA program. I think that's what kind of elevated me this time around. Uh, right, after, right after the MBA, I I uh, got into dental school, and I'm a first-year dental student right now. There we go, man. Congrats yeah. along, along the journey, man. Everybody has their own route, but, of course, it makes it the finish yeah. line, so that's all that matters. So, you know, speaking of the DAT, uh, what is your number one tip for any student out there trying to, I guess, boost their DAT score or something that you used that you felt was extremely helpful for you while you were preparing for the DAT? Yeah, so for the DAT, I mainly use DAT boot camp. Okay. Uh, it's a great foundation for any of the pre dents out there looking for it. Uh, it kind of gives you an overall basis of how to take the test, um, some strategies, and so far. But I think the thing that will push you over the edge, especially in biology, sciences, chemistry, is the DAT Destroyer. Mm -hmm. uh, they have really hard questions, and it's a really great way of just practicing, grinding out questions. Right. Um, and then I guess the last thing is just self-discipline. Uh, I locked myself in my room for like two months uh, <laughs> trying to figure this thing out. But yeah. honestly, it, everyone has their own style. But um, I think that was the way it worked for me. So. Got you. Got you. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, definitely creating that structure is, uh, is something that's yeah. necessary for sure. So for, for you and me uh, in particular, do you guys have any type of feeder programs or any type of um, enrichment programs that you guys have? Maybe an impressions day or you know, a feeder, um, like you say, you have, was a four, four plus four program, just yep. any type of like uh, program for prospective students there. Yep. So we do actively do impressions day. Uh, our uni as the program hosts around, I think we do two uh, impressions day a year. So it's a great way for a lot of pre-dental students to come in and understand what the culture is like at UNE Dental. And then as you mentioned, as I was part of the four plus four program. They actually have a three plus four program as well. So it's a really fast track uh, transition into dental school. One of my classmates is actually 21 years old oh, and wow. <laughs> part of the class. So she came from that feeder program from high That's school. Amazing. So there is about um, maybe two or three students every year in each class who are part of that feeder program. But uh, slowly, I think more and more students are um, going to be going that route. Got you, got you. Okay. So yeah. You know, once you, you actually figure, well, actually, first off, if you can remember, how many schools did you end up applying to while your first cycle and second cycle? Yeah, first cycle, I think I applied to, I applied to five schools. And then okay. second cycle, um, I think I was a little more confident with my resume and everything, so I applied to eight, eight okay. to nine. Yeah. 
Nice, nice, nice. So if you could just elaborate on how the interview at UNE was for you, you know, how what your impression of the interview was, kind of walk us through the day, how it was for you. So for UNE, it's a multi-mini interview. So there's uh, around six different rooms that you'll probably go into and you'll spend a minute to two minutes. Uh, at the front oh. door, there'll be like a prompt and you'll just spend about 30 seconds writing down um, some ideas that you have and then just entering the room and uh, talking to the person. Oh. Um, it may be a little bit challenging because not a lot of schools uh, perform this type of interview from my own experience uh, interviewing around. But I think that what the school is trying to get at is seeing overall well-rounded individuals who really understand uh, their core strength. So I think that when you go into the interview, make sure you know who you are. That was something that I kind of struggled with the first time. Um, also just preparing questions uh, for yourself, understanding uh, different scenarios that you might uh, fall into. So just making sure that you're ready for all the different type of personalities in each room can also start, uh, is something that you would want to prepare for before you go. For sure, for sure. So, uh, you know, how is the day set up? How is the structure? Do you get there? Mm -hmm. Breakfast first, do you jump right into the interviews? If you, you know, could you walk us through how the day is? Yeah, yeah, uh, so we start off the day. Uh, I came in for the afternoon session, so we came in for lunch first. Okay. Uh, everyone comes together, there's a little, uh, like a little get together, brunch, kind of just break the ice a little bit. Right. Uh, they, then they do a tour with some D2s, D3s, breaking the ice a little bit more. Uh, and then towards the end, you'll sit down with a whole room of students, uh, sitting with the dean, and then you'll go into your interview uh, different interview rooms. So I think it's a great way to really transition yourself into uh, the interview day rather than just throwing you in. Yeah, for sure. Let's for get sure. there. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so after you know you got, you gained that acceptance, you finally, you know, reached your goal yeah. of getting that acceptance and you know you're going to school, man. How was it for that first year or, you know, finishing up now, but how has this first year been for you? Um, you know, can you walk us through, you know, how you, how you've been kind of transitioning uh, into dental school as well as how the curriculum set up and how you guys are transitioned into the actual pre-clin and clinical aspect of the dental yeah. school. Yeah, so uh, I guess the first thing we need to tackle is the clinical because coming into dental school, the only uh, class that I kind of took to SimClin was ceramics. Yeah. Um, a lot of hand skills and artistry is involved. Uh, the amount of details that professors are really looking for is something that, that might catch you off. So it's definitely a transition, just understanding the environment, mm -hmm. understanding how to uh, perform. So uh, SimClin is definitely emphasized at UNE, so it's definitely one thing you would want to uh, practice on. Maybe just practicing your hands, brushing your teeth with your left hand or yeah. Uh, yeah. taking a ceramics <laughs> class. So that's, that's definitely a challenge in dental school. Um, but then again, it's a positive in that it can also balance your work schedule. Uh, Compared to like med school where it's all didactic, mm -hmm. uh, the SimClin is actually a way for you to kind of just chill out and uh, just get a little study break. So mm -hmm. it gives you a little bit of balance as well. So I kind of like it. Uh, with school, it's definitely more volume. Uh, it's my first mm -hmm. year, so I've, I'm still getting used to the whole thing, but uh, the volume is pretty crazy. Uh, every week you're getting quizzed, you're getting tested. It feels like you can't really stop. But I think after first semester, most students usually um, get used to uh, the lifestyle of it. Um, I did my master's in business, so it wasn't really science oriented, oriented, orientated, um, but I think that the master's program also kind of prepared me for uh, the volume that grad school has. Yeah. Got you, got you. How are, your, how are you guys' classes set up? Is it PBL style? Is it integrated or is it block style? Like, how are you guys, how is it yep. set up? Uh, so it's mainly integrated. Okay. Uh, there's five main classes. Uh, there's usually like a patient care, biomedical sciences, mm -hmm. and then like clinical, and then maybe like public health and something, and another uh, side class. Got you. Uh, what we mainly do is patient care is mainly based around dentistry. Biomedical sciences is all your sciences like immunology, anatomy, and then your clinical is obviously learning how to drill and um, do wax ups. Right. So there, it's a little bit of a mix. Uh, right now, UNE is still testing out different styles. So this is actually the first year where we're doing this type of, type of integrated curriculum. Okay. Um, but it's just something that uh, to consider. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the last few questions here as we start to wrap up is, uh, you know, granted you only have your one dental school experience at UNE, but yeah. what is something that has been unique to your experience uh, that you kind of want to share about UNE? Yeah, 
so in the summertime, we'll, as a first year, I'll actually be hopefully healthy going to clinic yeah. uh, after <laughs> all this craziness. But it's, uh, uni is really emphasizing uh, the hand skills and uh, early clinic time. Uh, they really want uni grads to be great dentists coming out. So the emphasis on uh, getting a drill the first day of school, you know, we got drills, we got, we got wax ups on the first day of school. They, they really want to integrate you and kind of feed you into becoming uh, a great art, artist in a sense. Right. And then uh, the support system is great. We have 60, we have a class of 64, so it's really small, yeah. uh, really family oriented. Uh, most of the teachers really, really are on you. Like they make sure your grades are good. You can't yeah. be really failing. Yeah. Uh, no one really slips through cracks, if, uh, if you know what I'm saying. So it's, yeah. it's, that's what I love about it. Uh, and then the last thing is the pass fail. Uh, we are a pass fail nice. school. So they're, the competitiveness, I guess, that is usually stigmatized with dental school is not there. So uh, that's also kind of what creates this fr friendly environment that I really was re really attracted to. Yeah. Got you, got you. So the last question, man, as we, as we, as we get to wrapping up this interview here is uh, if you could go back and tell the younger version of you, you know, while you're still applying to dental school, hungry to get in, get the acceptance, if you could give yeah. yourself any advice, what would that advice be? So for me, the main thing was to apply early. I think okay. the first time I didn't apply early and the second time I applied a little bit earlier. And that kind of, I think that made the difference okay. um, for anyone who maybe did not get in the first time like I did, I would strongly suggest uh, actually becoming a dental assistant. Mm -hmm. I think that it gave me such an advantage in terms of understanding dentistry overall, but then transitioning from shadow, shadowing hours to working hours, I think that makes a huge impression right. uh, on a lot of people. So if you can maybe, if I know some states might not uh, allow certain people to become dental assistants, but maybe check your state requirements and see if maybe if anyone's hiring. Um, and then I also took my master's. If if you guys are able to, masters are a great pro, great great way to get into dental school. Sure. Uh, I personally did an MBA, which is business, not related to dentistry at all, but it was really a talking point for me during the interview. Um, a lot of the teachers, professors, um, they were asking me, "Why did you get an MBA? Why did you become a dental assistant?" It's just ways to uh, almost stand out and make yourself uh, a different type of applicant. Right. And then, uh, yeah, I guess just being confident, like being confident in yourself, being confident in your application. You guys put a lot of hard work in and um, sure. the effort will definitely pay off. Definitely, man. Well, well definitely, man. Thanks for all these gems. Uh, you know, it's definitely valuable information for all the pre out there looking for some wisdom. Absolutely. For, you know, a few gems here and there to, to help them along their journey. Um, but if, if you know, if anybody has any questions for you specifically about you and me or about your journey, man, what's the best way they can get in touch with you? Probably Instagram. Okay. Uh, my Instagram is at Stanley Chan, S T A N L E E C H A N. Uh, you guys can message me or, uh, you know, contact me through that and hopefully I can help. Yeah, man, for sure. For sure, man. Well, again, on behalf of me and Tyler at Future DDS, all the viewers out there, all the pre-dents, uh, man, I just want to say thank you again for taking some time out and speaking with us. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. Thank you for helping me. I was one of those pre dance watching your videos. So uh, it definitely helped. Man, definitely, man. Thank you again. Thank you for supporting and watching, man. I'm sure uh, it looks like it's worked out. You you made it into dental school. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm glad it's worked out, man. Everybody out there, if you haven't already, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, as well as the notification bell so you know whenever we post up new content. Uh, but that's going to wrap up for the interview. See you guys uh, next time. Thanks again, Stan. Thank you.